Welcome, dear students, again to this podcast. Uh, today, I'm very happy because I have a special guest today. I have uh, George from Greece with me. George, can you introduce yourself, please? Hi. Well, I am uh, George. Um, I'm from Greece. I was born in Athens, but uh, yes. we moved um, to Crete, where I grew up. Crete is a, an island, the southern part of Greece. And yeah, I mean, um, in all my life, I remember myself want to travel around the world and uh, see different places and meet different people and cultures. And, and now here I am in Guatemala, traveling and learning a new language and yeah. Um, yeah, living in, my, in the dream. Yeah, the, living the dream to, for traveling and yeah. without a plan, right? With yes. uh, just traveling through Latin America or... Yes, yes. Nice, nice. Yeah, you are living the dream. And yeah, <laughs> uh, yeah my, fir- my, my, question, my first question is, Greece is not, um, or people from Greece, is not very common here in Latin America. Yes. Uh, why do you think it's, it's that? Well, I believe um, Greek people do travel but they they travel around Greece so mostly mm-hmm. I believe they travel uh, in Europe I um, like the same myself I, I used to travel in Europe and now it's like um, the first time I'm actually the second time I'm leaving uh, the Europe the continent to travel uh, like in Central America and um, I believe Greece is such a country with so many islands and sea and different landscapes and like you can see everything you you want to see so greek people when they they live by people that they are from greece they have every summer to go in every thousands of different islands they have like mountain ranges they have like uh, golden beaches they have like any scenery they want to see yeah. they, it's in greece so i believe that's the reason that they choose to travel in the, in the country and a few travel out of, outside the country they go to europe uh, to see something different yeah and um, that's why you don't meet like a lot of greek people like far away there yeah greece oh nice it's a yeah i know if you have everything in your country you can usually don't go to find other things but yeah yeah but for you what is if somebody wants to go to greece which part of greece do you recommend Wow. Well, Greece is um, it has so many um, different things to do. You know, it depends on depends on what exactly what's their way of traveling. Like mm-hmm. if you are like sl- tra- traveling slow, or you're there to just visit for a week, or mm-hmm. so it's depends on what what the type of traveler you are. Um, all Greek people, um, they lo- they love uh, Crete. So uh, I also suggest to every person outside of Greece that if you ever uh, in in Greece, uh, don't skip Crete because Crete is an island and is it's actually the biggest island in Crete mm-hmm. in Greece, and there you can like uh, you have like Cretan people are. Uh, renowned for um they're the most uh, like <laughs> for their hospitality and, and yeah it's like it's an island with um like with a lot of food and culture and uh, sightseeing and like it comes like the history of crete it can comes way before ancient greece so it's like a lot of things to do in one island Nice, nice. Yeah, I I want to visit. I went twice to Europe, but I never been in in Greece. But not yet. In the not yet, <laughs> not right? Yet, yeah, yes. not yet, not yet. Yeah, and I know that you are a, a YouTuber, right? Yes. You, you create videos for YouTube or for Facebook and things like that. But yes. how was your process to to start to travel? Because I know. Th- Everybody has the idea, have the plan to travel yeah. for, you know, oh, a, a, any parts of the world. But how you can start when you need to, how many time you need to, to start to travel? How many ta- I mean, the question is how many time you need 
to think and to prepare yourself to travel? Um, I mean, that's a very interesting question. George, can, can you yeah. put your microphone yes. more close, it's, please? Yeah. yeah, it's a very interesting question. Uh, actually, um, the old people, we are thinking a lot. We are like made to yeah. think a lot, right? So the process is very simple. You just need a decision and like a little money. Uh, um, <laughs> no, it's not, it's not a money. It's nothing. Okay. It's just a decision. As long as you decide that I'm going to travel, that's it. Then you find er any, every way, uh, like you will find the ways to do it. Um, personally, I, I'm, I was a cook. Uh, my profession was a cook before I start traveling. And um, actually, I was attended, I, I had attended the Greek show, uh, the TV show of MasterChef. And I was from the finalists there. So in Greece, I'm very, I'm like well-known uh, cook. But then I decided to, when the uh, COVID started and the restaurants went closed and, yeah. and I decided that actually what I was dreaming for myself my whole life was to, to travel, was to see the whole world, to see new places, to meet all different cultures and, you know, to to learn, to experience and learn by experience and not by listening or reading or, you know, or, yeah. or w watching a series or like a, a movie. So as long as I decided to quit my job, I, I told my uh, fiance, like, ah, this is, we had the same idea, actually, Lotus with Lotus. And we said, OK, let's do it. So what we have to do it, we had a few like a, a bit of savings in our bank account that we count uh, um, our our rent at that moment in our house um, like our savings were enough to cover uh, our rent for a few months mm -hmm. so then we decided look are we going to wait here in our apartment and losing our time and maybe we lose all our uh, savings or we sell even the rest that we have <laughs> and we take our savings and we go for it and that's what that's what we did the good thing is we we took advantage of the situation in covid and during the covid uh, period and because we had plenty of time to um to learn how to film how to edit how to run a yeah. youtube uh, uh like platform um, and no, that's that's what we did. We went hundred percent on it, and and then the one thing brings the other, and it's uh, you start traveling. Nice. So, uh, COVID in this case for you, it was a good uh, good thing yes. because without COVID, you don't stop and you don't quit your job. Exactly. And you didn't come to to Guatemala in this case. Yeah. Well, the plan was to like I had in my mind that I wanted to quit my job. I like mm -hmm. cooking. I like like uh, to being a chef but i'm a person that i want to have more contact with people i want to like be more as let's say free to not be like like to to be freelancer yeah so not working for a boss not do every day the same thing this is this kills me you know to yeah. just do like a same, routine to have a routine yeah exactly mm -hmm. um so yeah, um, by traveling is like everything I I could imagine. I found it with traveling. Sure, sure, nice. And you talk about uh, food, and what do you think about Guatemalan food? Wow, well, um, well, there are a lot of a lot of um, nice recipes. Actually, um, the good thing is that the good thing. The thing that I, I turned uh, vegetarian a few months ago, um, so there are a lot of recipes that I can't um, taste. Mm -hmm. But um, uh, next week we are going to Antigua, and there we are going to uh, have a YouTube tour, like a video tour, mm -hmm. that food tour. So we are going to taste all traditional recipes from Mayan or Guatemalan, yeah. all the traditional recipes, and then so that it's possible to have also the vegetarian option let's say you know like yeah. it's not if you're alone eat chicken or beef you can yeah. have it with vegetables yeah nice but i believe uh, yeah I, I i i love i love the food here yes yeah. nice nice yeah uh the food in guatemala uh 
it's uh, very amazing and there is uh, for me very natural you know because there is a lot on most of the the dishes in Guatemala it's about vegetables and yes and for me it's very nice you know but yeah and my next question is about food what how was your experience in MasterChef wow um look it was again it was something different than anything else I've done before um I just wanted to experience, you know, the the fact that you are on TV or you are in a competition um, such as MasterChef. Mm -hmm. And yeah, um, in the the game, the, actually the MasterChef in Greece, uh, it's a different thing than MasterChef around the world is that there is kind of reality show. Mm -hmm. So you go and you live in the house with wow. um, um, your colleagues there, the other competitors. Yeah. And so you don't see the outside wall. You don't listen yeah. from your friends. You don't <laughs> like you, I, my, um, I, I could only speak with my uh, fiance like uh, every f 10, 15 days for wow. 10 minutes. Yeah. So it was really like... Um, different experience yeah. so it was there were some good parts that i liked but um, the overall experience was okay i yeah. i was happy to that once in my life i experienced something like this yeah how many time it was the all the program or how um, was work done? well i uh, the program was five months uh, actually the thing is that when i attended uh, in the game um it was november uh, 2020 2019 Okay. So um, I went there, we started the game and we didn't have any communication with the outside world. So yeah. in some point, um, it w we were about to finish. We had one month up front to finish the game. We were the last six competitors. And then COVID had started already, like uh, in China, I came to Europe and mm -hmm. Italy and countries were starting yeah. go to go cl to close the borders and then some point they told us like something is happening outside there's a virus and but they didn't tell us much because they didn't yeah. want to make us like too stresses too stresses yeah, yeah exactly so but they told us like everything is fine with your families and you know so in some point they come like in one morning in the studio and they say look guys uh, we have to finish in four days and we had like one month up front yeah. to the final like, the final you know yeah. and then we did everything in three days wow uh, and the, me, the, all the competition in three days yeah yeah okay. the, then we are six and then the, the, the sixth and the fifth they went out and then one day the next day the, th the third and, f and uh, fourth and third and then yeah. it was the final the last day but the part of the the interesting thing was like uh, my fiance Lotus she mm -hmm. was um, in South Africa visiting a friend and I was like they told us like in four days we have to finish master because countries were go locked down and I was like, oh man, now what, what should I choose? <laughs> yeah. Like, am I staying or am I living? So anyway, I, after the first cooking, I booked tickets mm -hmm. and um, I left from Greece. I fly to Turkey and all the way to South Africa. And the moment I arrived in South Africa, the, the borders of the country were closed. Wow. So I was just in time to enter South Africa, South Africa and we stayed there locked down in South Africa two months with Lotus. And then we, um, we took a repatriation flight from South Africa to Netherlands, Netherlands. to go back. Nice. And you start the plan there to, well, to travel? We, we actually, yeah, the plan was always to start traveling in January 2020. Mm -hmm. But then I was in MasterChef and this, the time went by and then it was COVID. So we thought that we started traveling actually in March of when I moved, when, when I traveled to South Africa. Then we said, okay, from now on we are traveling. But we had to go back in, in the Netherlands because in the beginning we all thought like this is going to be like the lockdowns is going to be for a couple of weeks, three weeks, mm -hmm. one month, and then everything is going to be yeah. fine but no it's been a year <laughs> yeah so we try to adapt yeah. in that and we left uh, Amsterdam and the Netherlands and we moved in Greece where I then I was my first the time when I was 
like uh, out of MasterChef and people kn knew me. Uh, and I did some, I had some work there. Mm -hmm. I worked with some companies and, and, and then there we decided, okay, because the restaurants were uh, like, closed, then we decided, okay, we are not going to wait yeah. all this. You know, we are going to create this YouTube channel. We learn how to film, we learn how to edit, uh, bring the, the first stories up and then go for it. Nice. Yes. And our goal was actually to go back as we did in last Christmas. We left um, Crete and Greece. We went back to Amsterdam. There we, um, we did everything we could to make money mm -hmm. because it was also there, like sure. well, Netherlands, there was a lockdown. Um, so no restaurants there and I couldn't find jobs. So we started selling everything we could see in front of us, even like everything. Mm -hmm. like, um, curtains and <laughs> and, and uh, cups and mugs and yeah. electronics, everything. We sold everything. The good thing that this, all stores were closed. So we people wanted to buy from us because they, want, they have the need to buy people. <laughs> and yeah, we did all different kind of jobs. And yeah. Here we are. Nice, nice. And you talk about a little bit about uh, after ma MasterChef, but after MasterChef, I don't know how famous it is in Europe, but for example, Latin America, MasterChef is a big, big reality show. Yes. And most of the people after that have a, a different, uh, or they become uh, famous people. Yes. But I don't know how how do you oh, what's your experience after the MasterChef? No, it's the same, the same in Greece, man. Like um, I was like. I was just walking on the street and people would come, all people knew who I was and they would, I would sit down in a restaurant to eat and then people and kids would come to ask me for a photograph nice. and autograph and was this, you know, I experienced, I was, I thought that this is nice to experience in your life to be famous. Yeah, sure. But actually, I personally, I was, I'm not... I'm not this kind of person because I believe that if you become a famous overnight, you just uh, anybody can become famous overnight, you know, sure. and I became famous yeah. overnight, I just went to the MasterChef and they knew me. Yeah. But if you become famous because you start doing something and you grow in what you start doing and growing and you build something to become famous, that's way different because sure. then you, you, you are proud actually and, and then the people that admire you, you are fair with them. You know, yeah. you have something to show them there. Yeah, look, I start from zero and I build this and that's why you admire me. But when I'm like Monday morning, nobody knows me. <laughs> yeah. I have like After three five, days, 500 yeah. followers in my Instagram account. Mm -hmm. And then next day I, from, I have 30,000 people following me in my Instagram account. Mm -hmm. Then it's like, what can I say to these people? To those sure. people, you know, they, I was in their place like... In the, like a night before. Yeah. Right? So, um, yeah, so I know. And I didn't that, want that... to keep going with uh, sure. like the TV shows and stuff now. It wasn't yeah. fulfilled me. And, and that's true because um, if you want to become famous, it's better than if you create something or build something, you know? Exactly. And yeah, I know. But, and the question, a part of the question is uh, after MasterChef, do you have some offers for uh, job offers, for example? Yes. Yes, I did. I did have a job offers in even in Amsterdam, in, Ever in the Netherlands. They offered me two uh, positions to be chef. Um, in one um, uh, position, I um, offered the job to a friend of mine, which is very successful at the moment there in this restaurant. The other one, I was just I told him that I think I'm not going to take it because I'm going. I, I made up my mind. I'm going to travel, and I'm very happy because, you know. It's very easy and very like um, it's very easy to sometimes stay in our comfort zone, mm -hmm. and maybe we don't like what we're doing. But then we say, "Yeah, but I have the money now. Like yeah. I'm making the money to." But then again, I'm not very happy. And it's this line to to quit doing something that doesn't fulfill you, and doing something that really make you happy. It's like it's just the one decision distance, you know. Yeah. And I'm very happy that I made this decision and I'm very happy that, you know, like I, I love start starting from scratches, like from mm -hmm. zero, from, zero. from, um, we were making no money when we started with YouTube. 
sure or nobody paid for our hotels or tickets or <laughs> you no know, but slowly we are being uh, we being building up you know to collaborations to uh, get monetized in youtube and start making some money you know but this is now our baby it's like everything we start from scratches and if you love what you do you don't do it just in like one day and then next day you build you ex you like expecting you expect to like it grows in one day sure. you know you you feed a little bit every yeah. day you take care of it you know like it's like a baby and then in five six yeah. seven years three years you never know it will it will come in yeah. this uh like um in the place that it makes it gives you makes you make enough to survive and make money and sure. keep doing it yeah and I, the, I, the idea is enjoying the, this process no because sometimes we want to 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 be in the goal what you want what we want exactly. to do but i think the the thing is to enjoy all this process and in some times you're going to be where you want to be right? exactly exactly well we are we are now all people i mean we we are living in a very strange time mm -hmm. uh, that you know we we don't know about truth mm -hmm. you know about reality we don't believe in ourselves we I grew up, I, I remember myself before social media, before internet, before all this, you know, I, I'm a 90s kid. So, but then I now know myself in these times. But I, what I realized are people that they are born in after 2000, um, that they didn't know before yeah. social media. How old so are you, I'm George? I'm uh, 31 now. 31, okay. So um, what I want to say is that this, there are a lot of people, the majority of the people now, they don't, doesn't know, don't know about truth. Mm -hmm. They just listen about something and they believe it. Sure. Before, if you would listen something, it would be from TV, from the news, and they would say something, but this was their resource. Now, when I'm saying something in Instagram, people see me, people will believe me. <laughs> what, if it's true or not, yeah. it doesn't matter, you know? And what this brings up is like, People nowadays they see only the 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 nice picture from other people in their Instagram. They don't they don't see uh, like the 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 hustle and the, like the struggle that people do to come in certain places and it, you know like they just see them the nice pictures, the nice places they travel, mm -hmm. you know. And then what happens is that a lot of people nowadays they love something actually they want to do something that other people love yeah. it's like i see this is nice this guy is traveling mm -hmm. i want to do it too this yeah. is what i want but actually this is not what you want you like um, gardening that's yeah. your passion but you don't exactly. know because you haven't done it yet like if you see some you know what i mean yeah, yeah I if know. you really know what you want to do and if gardening is what you sure. really want to do you, you become an i don't know you, you create content for gardeners sure. and everybody will love you but you don't know because you are following someone on instagram you see yeah. me traveling and yeah. posting pictures and you think that i want to do the same because yeah. you know yeah it's interesting thing because um i read i think uh, a week ago uh, an article about that about for example the expensive clothes you know gucci and uh, things like that and the people who wears gucci like i don't know 50 cents or people like that um gucci uh it's just a present from gucci yes. but the real m uh, market of gucci is the people the, the middle class the middle class the yes. middle class because they watch or they see um they watch videos or they, yeah. they they see the people wearing this kind of clothes and the people say oh i i want this the, this ah, exactly. this t-shirt or this pants or whatever and exactly yeah. but yeah you can just see elon musk or zuckerberg uh, yeah or um um the, the the guy who has the amazon uh jeff bezos bezos yes yeah. uh sorry bezos uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. you can see them all like they are just wearing the same t-shirt uh every day for sure like yeah you know, i see like their interviews and they wear like very like the same clothes that i wear black yeah. t-shirts from three euro you know yeah. and then you say yeah they are the most rich people in the whole world. world yeah. But they don't need to, <laughs> to wear Gucci to, wear or, Gucci yeah, to yeah. be rich. They just yeah. are rich. Exactly. It is what the market creates and what, um, you know, all this social media and 
and yeah, it creates for us to want things, you know, and our dopamines like wow. I want this, I need this. I yeah. it's like um, uh, it's 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 very um, how say it? very interesting how we are like lead to <laughs> to do things that we actually we buy things that we don't um, need to impress people. I, I've, re I've read this somewhere, but I really like to say again. <laughs> we yeah. as people, we buy things that we don't need with money that we don't have, we don't have it. to impress people that we don't like. Yeah. It's like this, exactly. uh, it's like, it's very nice quote, you know? Yeah. It's, it's and it's the thing, truth. It's the truth. Yeah. I don't need to have Gucci. I don't have money to have yeah. Gucci. And I wear a Gucci because I want to impress the people that I don't like. Look, yeah. I'm wearing Gucci. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's not that, that's not life man. it's like yeah. life is have people that love you have nice uh, friends around you experiences like i prefer pay 200 euros and spend one one week uh like traveling somewhere in guatemala for in example guatemala. or in india you can spend yeah. a month a whole month yeah. with one week and you come by with so many experience instead of just buy a pair of shoes yeah that is six months or the even more smart is instead of Buying every six months a new sneaker of Nike, 150 yeah. euro, invest 150 euro to buy the shares of Nike. And now you will have now already, if you do that for 10 years, buying new shoes or, or putting in shares in Nike, yeah. you will have a passive income for the whole of your life. You know, it's like, it's, yeah. it's, it's, it's just an advertisement. It's yeah. Just, um, yeah. Yeah. And it's a very good topic, you know, because uh, and this happening here in Guatemala or in Latin America and Europe, everywhere. And it's very nice because all the things that you, you say before, it's a, a meme. You know what is a meme? A meme when you, uh, it's like a joke. Yes, yes. It's a joke in, in, uh, in just an yes, in image. Yes, yes, yeah, yes. So this kind of memes, it's the same thing in Spanish or in English. Yes. And it's the same thing in Guatemala, Mexico, or uh, uh, Greece, or yes. whatever. Yes. And it's it's very nice thing, yeah. And yeah, let's talk about a little bit about traveling. Yes. What do you think, or what people in Greece think about visit Latin America? Because you know, I I went to I I traveled to to promote Guatemala, and the biggest question of people is Guatemala is very dangerous. I I saw in the in the news that Guatemala have a, I don't know a yes. lot of things or Mexico or El Salvador or whatever. Yes, yes. But yes. in Greece, what people think about it? Well, I believe um, that Greece is um, I don't know many thing many Greek people like to to travel so far as I told before, but I'm I'm sure that they know that it's dangerous. Like when I went, I started in Mexico, they were like sending me messages is it safe is it safe <laughs> true but i believe this is of course there is a like a, a small portion of truth inside the, the, this but that that's also for it's the same for every country yeah. even in greece if you are in certain neighborhoods in certain time in the night you will get robbed mm -hmm. or you know sure. like in Greece or in Italy or wherever you are, there are areas that are very dangerous mm -hmm. because we we live in this time of the, the you know that times that you have to be careful, you have to be smart and what you do, what time you do it, or you know have to be aware. Sure, you know. Um, but further, further, further uh, uh, than this is like I believe that media again have mm -hmm. create they create um, a picture. For every country, uh, depends of where they want to lead. Um, I don't know the tourism or any impact that comes out yeah. of it. You know. Um, personally, I I've met the most amazing people uh, by traveling in Mexico and now in Guatemala, and I'm very exciting excited to keep traveling all South um, uh, Central America, and then. My our plan is to go um, to Middle East, so go Pakistan, Georgia, uh, like uh, Pakistan, Afghanistan, Iraq, um, like all these countries that they say no, you don't go there, you can't, yeah. it's war and this and this happen. Yeah, but there are certain areas that things sure. happening. Exactly. Um, so yeah, 
Yeah, nice. Because, yeah, uh, how I said, most of the people um, outside Guatemala think a lot of things about Guatemala, you know. Or maybe people say, oh, Guatemala is part of Mexico or what, uh, Guatemala is very yeah. dangerous. I saw some news on the, on the TV or things like that. But, yeah, it's, it's better to come and, and, and sí. to visit Guatemala to have a better idea. But how you said... Uh, it depends where you're going to visit. Exactly, that's the same, uh, cam uh, like the same thing as I, did, I said before. That um, you know, you don't know the truth because yeah. anybody can say whatever uh, he wants. And now there are a lot of people, travelers, a lot of YouTubers or bloggers that say go to such a place as Guatemala that it sounds very dangerous, and they show that it's not, yeah. and they show that how lovely people are living there how good you are being treated from people there, you know, like you feel like really the hospitality and all this, you know, like you feel good to yeah. be tra been traveling in such countries. So, yeah, that's also our goal to show to people that it's nothing to afraid of. Yeah. Just go travel, go explore the world. Uh, just to know, you have a website where the people can find all this information? Yes, we are, uh, Lot our channel, YouTube channel is Lotus and George. And yeah, we have a podcast before with Lotus. If you want to see there's any part of this video or before, there is um, uh, the, the other podcast with Lotus. Yes. Yeah. So the, you can find us there, guys. Um, we already have been... We have we made already around sixty videos, different videos, and um, we are three months already. And we have been traveling. We are on our world trip mm -hmm. after selling everything we own, and we also filmed that part of collecting the money and yeah. make collect the budget that we set, and then traveling for um, around three months in Mexico and our Guatemala. Our plan is to travel in the whole Central America and then go to Italy. So, yeah, a lot of nice things are coming up. Nice. Information about traveling, uh, costs, uh, how, how much we spend. and Yeah. And do you have um, videos of food or cooking something or not? Yeah. There are, because that is very interesting. It's very, very yeah. interesting. Yeah. Well, I, I, we do have a food tour in Mexico and it's coming up a food tour in Guatemala, in nice. Antigua. Um, but um, no, not yet. Like we mostly focus on showing the place and how we travel. And uh, now will come a lot of videos, like more informational about because we are like we've been traveling um, already for three and a half months, and mm -hmm. we have spent two and a half thousand mm -hmm. euro, which is for two people. Uh, it's like. We spend less than 400 euro a month a person yeah. um so that's very unique so people can see how we do it because yeah. they believe it's with they believe with like five thousand euro i can't go anywhere but we almost do one year with mm -hmm. six seven thousand euro yeah you know, <laughs> two people not one yeah. so yeah. it's very interesting and they are coming this video now in our channel um but people can find them nice that's amazing and if somebody wants to come to Guatemala, why people should visit Guatemala for you? Well, I, I recommend to everybody to come to Guatemala because it's such a, a unique place with such a culture and such a diversity. Um, people are really uh, embrace you, I think is the word. Like really, you feel really a part of the place, even if you are a tourist, yeah. like people will show you that they are very welcome you very much. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, it's it's totally worth it to 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 visit Guatemala. And do you think that it's better uh, if you learn Spanish before to come, or just I mean, uh, do you enjoy more if you talk a little Spanish? Well, uh, I believe that this. You can anybody can come in Guatemala even if he doesn't speak Spanish, because people will they're so um, like they are so lovely and so patient that they will you will make contact with them and they will understand what you want and 
and you will have a good time. But also because if you come in Guatemala, of course, you can find everywhere uh, lessons to learn Spanish with locals and learn Spanish with in the best way you can. And again, not by only studying, but by yeah. experiencing the same time. And that's the, the best way to learn. Yeah, nice. And what yes. do you think or how was your experience in the, at school? Wow, man, it was, it was great. I mean, I, I've, been, I've been studying now for 20 hours. Uh, like I did five days, four, yeah. four hours, um, um, five days, four hours a day. And I already feel like I'm, I'm so much more confident to, to speak. I can actually speak already, yeah. you know, it's like, if I, if I at, at like, um, learn all these verbs and vocabulary, vocabulary that I, we learned these days, I mean, I can make, I can like, yeah, I can live here, you know, in, sure. in, and I was only five days of lessons. So yeah. I believe it's really worth it. It's a very unique experience. Um, I will definitely do it again. Yeah. And I think it's, uh, because you have one teacher, right? Yes. You don't have, uh, more than, uh, uh, two students in one class. So no, exactly. in, in, in it's your like face, face to face. Yeah, yeah in, face in to face. In our case, was was me and my partner together. Yeah. Um, but I was is yeah. different. If you and one a, teacher for two students. Yeah, exactly. If you are with your partner, you can have if you want like same teacher. Yeah. Uh, but that's the greatest way to learn. Um, yeah. Like you have someone that talks to you in Spanish straight away, mm -hmm. makes you understand what is happening and like get the, the basic knowledge to start speaking the language. And then if you want really to keep going, you have the base and the information to, to learn and develop your skills in yeah. the language. And specifically your teacher, how was your teacher? Well, Sandra, she's amazing. <laughs> nice. I mean, she's so sweet. And yeah, yeah we, we felt the connection straight away. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's, it's like a friend. Yeah. Now he's not only a teacher. And yeah, we learn actually a lot of things about the Mayan culture and mm -hmm. about the, the people around the lake Atitlan. And, um, and actually, because I was reading a lot of um, the history of, um, um, uh, of uh, Guatemala, I, I, I now um, know a lot of things. Like how said, I questioned a lot of things to, to my teacher, to mm -hmm. Sandra. And and now I don't have so many questions as before. But it's very interesting because um, uh, she's a great person. Nice. And what you can say now in Spanish? What uh, you learn it? Well, <laughs> you, I mean, you can say something in Spanish just to, to yes, listen? Yes, well, um, yeah, my name is Jorge. Yo soy de Grecia. Um, yeah, um, me gusta Guatemala mucho. Um, and yeah, uh, um, soy, uh, está feliz, huh? yeah, estoy feliz. Estoy feliz. Yeah, nice. And um, yeah, um, mañana a la mañana <laughs> uh, vamos a la antigua. Nice, it's sí. nice, nice, nice pronunciation. Sí. Oh, Th thank you very much, George, to join uh, this podcast. I'm so so happy to have you here with me yes. to this podcast and with our students. Uh, they we're going to enjoy this uh, this episode of the podcast. And again, thank yes, you very much. I hope so. Where we can follow you? Well, my uh, Instagram account is uh, Giorgos Lascaridis. I think you can. Okay. Do it yeah, there. sure. I'm going to put before in the comment box or in the description yeah, of this description, video. Yeah, because it's a big name. <laughs> yeah. And otherwise, in our YouTube channel, uh, Lotus and George. And there we are like uploading videos twice a week. Nice. And um, yeah, it's very interesting. Uh, uh, you what, you, what, you, what you can say to Greek people? To in Greek in people, Greece, yeah. I would say... You can say, can you... I mean, one guys, message about Guatemala, but in, guys, in your yes, own uh, language? Yes. Well, in my own language, I would say... Afiste ti mikono ke lates ti Guatemala. Which means, guys... Leave Mykonos and come to Guatemala. <laughs> like, amazing, yeah. amazing. Okay, again, George, thank you very much. Thank and you. I hope to see you soon, maybe one, two years. Yes. And I think sooner. Talk, yeah, I ta think sooner. <laughs> talk, talk again about yes. life, about travel, and about 
learn languages yes. and visit countries. I had a lot of fun. Thanks. Okay. Thank you very much, George. See you. Thank you very much, guys. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this episode with uh, George and see you the next time. Thank you, George. Nice, man. Nice. Thanks.